Hi Taurus, this is Eileen with your November 2018 Psychic Tarot card reading. And we're starting the month of November with the Magician card. And by the way, you have a lot of major arcana cards in the month of November. So I think there must be a lot of major transformations going on for Taurus. Okay, the Magician card. This is a major Arcana Destiny card. And the Magician is saying that you have all the resources you need inside of yourself to create the life that you want for yourselves. Um, it does take a lot of focus, though. I get a really strong energy that a lot of Taurus who have not um, seen their dreams materialize that you might be feeling um, a little pessimistic or, oh, that's just the lucky people or something like that. I'm feeling or feeling like maybe something slipped through your fingers or whatever, that you're not getting the good breaks or whatever it is. Somehow you, you know, got the short end of the stick or something. Um, what the magician is saying here is that you have it inside of yourself to have your life the way you want but you really have to focus you really have to focus your attention your energy you truly have to make it your intention to get it the way you want it whether it's a new business getting it going and making it succeed for you or some new career or a move or a new home whatever it is that you desire that you feel would give you a more fulfilling life, a more enjoyable life. It's like you really have to make it your intention and mean it. You can't just say, well, hopefully, or I wish it could be that way. You have to truly mean it from deep down inside of yourself. Because as the magician, you can do this. You can bring forward what you need. You can get the ideas you need. You can, um, you know, you don't always have to just start with a lot of money. You might just have some really good ideas and some determination and hard work, creativity, I feel like a lot of you have a lot of creativity deep down inside of you that you need to bring forward that's been kind of uh, latent talents. That's what's coming to me. Like some of you have this, these, um, create a lot of creativity that's been buried deep down inside of you because you've just been busy working, just making a living and just doing practical things, a lot of practical things. And Taurus are very practical minded anyway. Um, and hard working too. So maybe you've just been going to your regular jobs and, and working, working, working uh, for that paycheck. And deep down inside of you, there's something very creative that wants to come out. So those Taurus that have any little even hint of that, start thinking about that. Give yourself a chance here and there to, to go within. But just believe in yourself and make it your intention to have it the way you want. The next card we have is the Strength card. This is a great card, too, to go along with the Magician. Strength. So you have the inner strength that you need to push through and to get things the way you want them. And you don't have to be pushy. The Strength card says you can be diplomatic. You can be gentle. You can be, um, you, you know, even you can be very persuasive. Like for those Taurus that maybe you want to get a promotion or a raise, or maybe you're applying for a new job. In the month of November, you can be very persuasive and not be pushy. And people are going to pay attention to you. I also feel like a lot of you are going to be looking especially attractive to the opposite sex. Um, in the month of November. And I do feel, though, that for a number of you, you might be at a particular job and you're trying to have your voice heard, your ideas heard, or there's something you just really feel driven that you feel is the right way to do things or that could really be more productive or uh, just kind of um, and also help elevate you. I feel like November is a good month 
to um, to speak to people, to whether you're asking for a promotion, a raise, maybe to be put in, in charge of a particular project with, because you have a lot of good ideas, whatever it is, or even if you're starting a business of your own or doing some things to get a business you already have moving forward a little better, you're going to be especially persuasive in the month of November and there's nothing pushy or aggressive about it. It's like people are going to pay attention to you. They're going to listen. And for some female Taurus especially, I feel like you're really going to be looking good to the opposite sex. That's what I'm feeling like. And uh, I am tuning in on a psychic level as well as reading the meanings of the cards. I feel like this could be one person I'm uh, tuning in for. It might be a few that um, uh, there's, let me see what I want to say here. <clears throat> I just feel like there's a particular it's like you, the Taurus, or a female. There's a particular gentleman <clears throat> that either you're dating or you're just meeting. I feel like this is a couple of different scenarios. For someone, you might just be meeting this nice, handsome kind of guy who's going to be very attracted to you and want to go out with you. Okay. For someone else, I feel like you've already been dating a nice kind of gentleman type person and things have been going along smoothly and going well and I feel like he's got ideas for long term with you. He might propose in November or um, I don't know if someone's actually getting married in November. Someone might propose to you that you've been dating and like I said or if they're not actually proposing marriage they're letting you know, they're saying things to you to let you know that you're, they're looking at you that way with long term in mind going forward for, you know, like marriage, family, all that sort of thing. So that sounds specific maybe for a couple of people I was tuning in there. Uh, next card we have is the death card. And with the death card, this is talking about one phase of your life closing out to make way for new beginnings. So for a number of Taurus in the month of November, you might have something ending. I feel like for some of you, this has got to do with a relationship. I feel like, oh boy, this might be one person I'm tuning in for that you're in a bad relationship with someone. I don't know if you're married to this person or living with them. It feels like a really bad, disagreeable situation. You might even be mad about the whole thing. Some kind of anger going on. Yeah, it's like both of you have a lot of anger things going on. It's not healthy. You really need to step aside from this situation. Look at it objectively and decide on a good course for your life. It's, it's self-sabotage staying in a relationship like that. I mean, for both of you, because I feel like both of you are miserable and angry a lot of times. That, I mean, I really feel like that's specific for one person I was tuning in in that particular situation. And then I feel like for others, it's like um, this might be another individual. Somebody else feels like they're stuck. They're in some kind of a bad relationship and they're stuck. I say life is too short to allow you to be stuck. That's what I say. Find a way. There's always a way. There's a will. There's a way. No matter what it is you feel you're stuck in. It could be a job, a relationship, uh, a particular place where you live. It doesn't matter. Where there's a will, there's a way. Life is too short to stay stuck in something that makes you miserable. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm getting uh, some heavy relationship stuff going on for some people. This is a general reading, so all of these cards are not going to apply to everyone who watches the video. Some people might identify with some of the cards while others identify with others. So, you know, and I'm picking up on scenarios for individuals. So for a lot of Taurus who hear this, they might not be in that situation at all. Uh, I'm just tuning in for whoever, you know, whoever, whatever's coming to me, I'm passing that along. Um, and then for some of the Taurus who watch the video, it could be a job situation that you have been just burned out on. But once again, I just say life is too short. Whatever it is, just start making your plans to have a lot better. Look, you got the magician, you got strength, you got a lot of good cards going on for you here in November. November is a great month to make your plans, put your plans in action, have confidence, feel the inner strength that you have with you. And Taurus are strong people. They're physically strong and mentally strong. And they have a lot of determination, they have patience. 
Um, so no one needs to, and that's another thing with Taurus. A lot of times they don't like to make quick changes. So that's why some of you might be stuck in miserable relationships or in a job you hate that you just go into work just because you've been at it for a long time and it's a paycheck and you've got responsibilities. Taurus don't like to be hopping around and ch making changes, but if things have come to an end where you, you it's making you feel lifeless, hey, you need to think uh, about your life going forward. You don't want to get to the end of your life someday and, and know that you didn't take a chance, that you didn't try to make things better, regardless of whether it's your job, your home, your relationship, whatever. I say get out of the bad situations. That's what the death card is all about. Don't keep hanging on to something that makes you miserable. And that's what I'm tuning in. So there's some of you who are going to see this video. A lot of people might say that's not me. Well, great. Good for you. But there's a few people, because that's coming across real strong to me. There's a few people in bad situations that need to just say, wake up one morning and say, that's enough. I want happiness in my life. Right after this, look at this card, the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is saying maybe some people have been feeling stuck, like things haven't been moving along the way you want them to. All of a sudden, with the Eight of Wands, Wands relate to the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they mean action, they're work-related a lot of times, progress, forward movement. Eight of Wands is saying that for those Taurus who have felt like things were going too slowly, you've been stuck in a situation you couldn't get out of, all of a sudden you get some good news and things start moving forward fast. So this is really good. Now for some of you, this can be talking about travel. Some of you might be getting on a plane and traveling somewhere in, in November. And that would make sense. Thanksgiving, some of those holidays are coming up in November too. So for some of you, you're traveling. I do feel somebody, some of you are traveling over like overseas. Like if you're in the U.S., maybe you're going to, over to the European side or vice versa or whatever. So or wherever you are, it's like traveling over an ocean. I'm getting that for somebody or maybe more than one somebody actually. But but for a number of Taurus, if you have been feeling like some things were going too slow and held up, all of a sudden you're going to get good news. Things move quickly and you got to be ready for that. Now, for some of you, maybe you were applying for a job. I feel like for some, you were applying for a job out of town, which would cause you to relocate. You might get the good news all of a sudden. Hey, it's coming through. It's time to go. And all of a sudden you're getting ready and packing and getting everything ready to go. And for others, it's some other situation. It might be a place you're, you you want to live. Maybe some of you have been looking for a home to buy or another place to rent. And uh, things are, you know, you haven't quite found just what you want. And then all of a sudden the right thing comes out for you and you got to act quick and move ahead with it. So this is real good. It's a good progression here because you got the death card, things coming to an end that you no longer serve you. That's what this is about. Um, whatever is no longer serving you. And for some people, it might just be an old way of thinking, of doing things, old habits. Let it go. Let it fall by the wayside. And then quick movement to move forward in your life. So this, I like this progression. Next card we have is the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles, Pentacles uh, relating to the Earth signs, actually, of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is one of your cards. And what this is talking about is a lot of Taurus might be having some good news financially. And actually, it's talking about your hard work, your patience, that you're seeing it pay off little by little. Things are paying off. And you're patient. And Taurus can be patient. Taurus just do not... They take a long-term view at things. They're building their blocks, building little by little, a good foundation. And uh, they're very, uh, a lot of Taurus are very sensible-minded about money and their future, their home, their job, whatever. And so this is a really good card here for a lot of Taurus. It's showing that your work, your all your hard work, your patience, that you're being rewarded. But you're not feeling like, oh, let me go celebrate and go spend a whole pile of money. It's more like, okay, good. Maybe I can put some money away. Maybe I can treat myself a little bit here and there. But I know I have more work to do and I feel good about the foundation I'm building for myself and my own uh, cushion, my own sense of security in my home in my career, whatever this is. So this is a really nice card, too, for a lot of Taurus. And for anyone who's not feeling the prosperity, I would say just 
identify with the laws of attraction, learn about the laws of attraction, and start identifying with um, success and prosperity and just having everything the way you want it to be because you have so much good energy in your favor right now to take advantage of. Now the next card, another really good card, the Ace of Wands. And again, the Wands have to do with the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ace of Wands. This is talking about a new project getting off the ground for you and having a lot of um, enthusiasm for it. It's showing some of you might be starting a new business. You might just be getting a new job that's going to pay you a lot better, that you're going to enjoy a lot more. Some of you, I feel somebody's moving into management, or maybe you were already some kind of manager and you're moving up to another level where you're a higher manager or something I'm getting. Someone else I feel like is self-employed and you're really feeling good about the progress you're making and the money you're making in your business. I'm getting different scenarios for different people. I get a, re a lot of really strong positive energy with this card. And like, like I said, this is a general reading. I know this is not going to necessarily resonate with everybody. But I feel those people that are feeling really strong and confident and good and like you know you've made progress and you're making more progress and you're just enthusiastic about it, it's kind of like they've got the law of attraction on their side. They're using the laws of attraction. They're not feeling, they're not fearful. They're not feeling worried. They're not feeling inferior or anything. They're feeling strong and confident and capable. They know they've already been doing well and they're going to keep doing better. And they're eager. They're just moving full steam ahead. So I feel like they're already embracing the laws of attraction. It's working really well for them. And this is for all of the Taurus who see the video. You can be on this um, path also. Start really identifying with making progress, having the success you want in your life, whether it's your career, the type of home you want, your even your personal life, your love life, whatever it is, just identify with it know that you're um, you're creating that for yourself. Look right underneath the magician, creating, creating the life you want. And here's another really good um, major arcana card, the star card. The star is saying for those of you who have had financial problems, heartache, even health woes, health aches and pains and whatever, and problems in that area, the star is offering healing healing of your life. So it's like let the past uh, be behind you now. Go forward into the future. The light of the star is guiding you to success. It's guiding you to happiness, to better times ahead. This is a really nice card, the star, and another major arcana. You've got so many major arcana cards. How many? One, two, three, four, five, Five out of ten cards, so half of them are major arcana cards in November. And really good cards, too. I mean, you can't really call the death card. Maybe it's associated with having some heartache or endings or whatever, but it's making way for new beginnings. So it's a good thing, you know. Sometimes you have to let the past fall by the wayside to start fresh and have new, better beginnings in your life. But the star is saying there's better times ahead. Leave the past behind. For those of you who have had heartbreak, I mean, and I feel like a number of you are going to be feeling like you're coming out into the clear. Like maybe you know you did get your heart broken. You had some relationship that really uh, was not good. But now you're, I'm feeling for some of you, you're just single and free and you're open to the uh, possibilities now. You've gotten over it, whatever it was. I'm tuning in for some people. And then others, maybe you've had financial problems and maybe you still feel like you've got a ways to go. But almost like the worst of it's behind you and it is time now to just get a new perspective and start fresh and... Um, like a renewal. That's what I'm getting for a number of you Taurus. There's a renewal in the air for you. I'm feeling like someone might be, I'm getting engagement again. Somebody might be getting engaged or is engaged in the month of November. 
and you're feeling good about that. Just feeling good about your life and um, yourself, your relationship, and just you're feeling very fortunate. Like you're very lucky and very fortunate because you're with someone that you want to be with and you love the person a lot and that sort of thing. I'm feeling like that might be one person I'm tuning in for. I'm not sure because I'm getting an engagement or maybe someone living together now and you're really in love with the person or something like that for someone. Some of you might even be meeting your special someone in November and it's just magical. Yeah, so the star is offering a lot of positive energy, energy for Taurus for healing in different areas of your lives. Next card we have is the Emperor. So here's another major arcana card. And the Emperor, he is someone who's successful, who's very clear thinking and very decisive and um, just prosperous. And what the Emperor card is saying, now for some Taurus, this is a person who might be in your life for some reason or another in the month of November. I feel for someone, this could be a prospective mate for you is what I feel like for someone. Whether you're already with this person, I feel like this might be for a female Taurus, that this emperor represents someone who's successful, who's very clear-headed and very just strong and confident and really good about making uh, decisions, very decisive kind of person that has good clarity, good mental clarity. You might actually be married to this person or getting married to this person up ahead for somebody. Um, I also feel like he's very um, like family oriented, home, family, the whole thing, very responsible, but, but a su fairly successful person. Now for some Taurus, I feel like you're going to be embodying the traits of the Emperor in the month of November. I mean, because Taurus, they really, they like stability. They work hard. So a lot of times they will accumulate a certain amount of, you know, um, money, um, prosperity, a, a good home, a good maybe work their way up in their job, whether they're self-employed or working at a company where they're in some kind of upper management position of some sort or maybe some other position of authority that they're in in their line of work, whatever that might be. But I'm feeling even if you're not in those kind of positions, you just might be experiencing those traits of the emperor where you're being just confident and strong and being decisive and very clear thinking about what you want to do, what it is, maybe in some business um, matter, maybe in your job or if you're self-employed or something else where you're just having real good reasoning skills and clarity and, um, and your money feels good it just, it, you know, it just feels like you're in a position where you can stay calm and uh, make good decisions uh, based on your the facts that you have and just not get swayed, you know, not get too influenced by others. And so you can make the right kind of decisions for yourself and your life going forward. And some of you, I feel like, are self-employed and you're being that way in November and you're feeling prosperous. You know you're doing well. So that looks good. I like that. Next card we have is the King of Cups. And the Cups relate to the water signs of Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So for some of you, I feel like this King of Cups could be a person who's going to be attracted to you in the month of November. And the King of Cups, I do feel like he's kind of a charming guy. He's single. I don't feel like he's married and looking for somebody to have a fling with. I feel like he is single. He might be divorced or maybe if not divorced, he's had some serious relationships. But overall, he's single. He's available. And he does well for himself. For some of you, Taurus, this might be someone at work. It might be someone who's in a position of management or something. 
or even if they're not in management, they do well in their job. You know, I don't know if they're in some position of sales or something, whatever they do, uh, they're doing well financially. But I feel like this particular person has a lot of charm in his personality, nice looking. He kind of, it's like he knows he's nice looking, but he doesn't have a big ego about it. But he kind of, he is entertained by his own charm and good looks, kind of. <laughs> So, and I don't know just how good looking he, I feel like he's nice looking. Okay. So some people might think he's real good looking and other people might just think, well, he's okay. He's nice, you know, but I do feel like he likes to joke around a little bit. Like I said, he's got a charm about himself, kind of easygoing, sensitive, but he is a nice guy. He really is. And I feel like he's ready. He's feeling like he's ready to find someone to get married to. But he's not real anxious and he's not being pushy with anyone. But he knows he's a good catch and he's looking for someone else that's a good catch in the way of a female who's a good catch for himself. You know, somebody's attractive. And I feel like you, the Taurus, might be a female and he, you're, he's around you and watching. He might be flirting with you a little bit. If it's someone at your job, he might be kind of cautious because it's a word he doesn't want to cross the line or getting, you know, get into some complicated situation with somebody at work. So he might be kind of taking his time. I feel like for someone, he might be around your work environment, but you don't work directly with him. He could be, um, you know, like let's say you work in an office or some other environment, a hospital, an office or whatever. He might be some salesman who comes through or someone who works at another company and does business with your company or your organization. It could be somebody like that or a client of your company, that type of thing. Not necessarily someone around your office or right around your environment necessarily. That's what I'm feeling. So it shouldn't have to be too complicated in that situation. And I feel like there's different scenarios for different people here is what I'm feeling like. But uh, for some people, you might meet this person when you're enjoying um, your free time, maybe just out with your friends or something. He might be an acquaintance of some of your friends or a relative, or he just might be out where you are when you go somewhere, go attend something or anything like that. But he's around. This is I feel like this is a person for a few people in November. That's what I'm feeling like for a romantic partner. And he would be a good guy, uh, but he's not going to rush and make a big commitment right away. He would want to date. and He he wants good something that's really good for himself and his life. He doesn't want to rush into something. Oh, okay, I'm going to get this person. I'll just get married. He's not like that. He wants to really find the right person and be in love and ha have fun with that person. He wants the two of them to be like best friends and be able to joke around and have fun and have the love and romance. And I feel like this is someone not, I feel like this is not just one person. I feel like this is for a few people that you will have this person around you in November. So if you're single and looking, just, you know, be open, be receptive. Next card, last card we have is the 10 of pentacles. And the, again, the pentacles relating to the earth signs of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So one of your cards, but look, the 10 of pentacles is talking about financial security, prosperity. I mean, it's really a nice card. Family stability. Um, also, it can relate to property. Some of you might be buying a property or selling a property or just moving into a new home. Someone might even receive an inheritance of some sort. Or maybe if there's some other money that's due you, you might be receiving that money. Some of you might be getting, uh, I don't know, a bonus at your job or um, a raise of some sort or a promotion. I'm feeling promotion bonus at work or a promotion for somebody where the money's quite a bit more than you were making already. Somebody who might be in sales, maybe if you're in real estate or you sell something else where you get commission, you might receive a, a bigger than usual commission. I'm just getting for some of you some kind of a little bigger chunk of money than usual. That's what I'm getting. Than your normal flow. It's like a little extra something. That's really, it's like, oh, wow, this is great. That's what I'm feeling for some of you. So don't everybody say, where's my pile of money? I'm not saying everybody's going to get a bunch of money. I'm saying for a number of Taurus, this is a general reading. I'm tuning in for certain people here and passing along what I'm getting. So some of you are going to be very pleased by the end of November with some extra money, prosperity of some sort 
that that you really are very fortunate to receive. That's what I'm feeling like. Okay, maybe it's in the form of a promotion at your job. Maybe if you're in sales, it's a bigger order or a bigger commission than usual. Whatever. Uh, some of you are going to be very pleased by the end of November. So, but again, I recommend everybody learn about the laws of attraction so that you will be the benef you will be the beneficiary if not beneficiary if not by the end of November maybe in the months to come because you're aligning yourself up with prosperity with receiving with the flow the universal flow the give and take and the flow the way that prosperity flows so uh, really good ending card I like that Okay, so now, um, Taurus, th these cards, this is the Gilded Tarot by Shiro Marchetti. And what I want to do now is I'm going to pick one card from the Fairy Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And if you like my readings, be sure and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. If you have done so, I thank you for your subscriptions. And uh, be sure and check for your rising and moon signs as they come available. Feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. And if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. Okay, so what's the message for Taurus for November 2018? Taurus, what's the message for Taurus for November 2018? What's the message for Taurus for November 2018? Taurus. Okay, I'm going to give it one more shuffle, and then I'll fan them out. Okay, let's fan these out and see, pick a card here. Okay, this is the Empress. You see, you had the Emperor in here. This is the Empress card here. Card number three, the Empress. Uh, let me see if I can get that where it's not... Time to take action. The power of creativity. Success that allows for a life of luxury. Ooh, I like that. Look, the power of creativity. Time to take action. Success. I was saying that to begin with, with this magician card. Okay. It's the Empress. Let me read that again. Time to take action. The power of creativity. Success that allows for a life of luxury. I know Taurus likes that. Taurus likes nice things. They like their aesthetics. They like their home to be beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to pick one card from Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield with artwork by Josephine Wall. What's the message for Taurus for November 2018? Taurus. What's the message for Taurus for November 2018, Taurus? What's the message for Taurus for November 2018? I'll give it one more shuffle and then fan these out. Okay, let me fan them out. Oh, I like this. Okay. This says gratitude and appreciation. That's card number, uh, is that four, six? Yeah, 46, gratitude and appreciation. And I wish my camera would capture the details on these beautiful cards better than, I mean, you can get it, an idea of the intricacy here, but they're just gorgeous. A unicorn and a little girl. I see a rainbow in the background. I like that. There's always so much more to see in these cards. It's like the more you look at them, the more you see in them. Okay, let me look this up. Number 46. Okay, gratitude and appreciation. I believe in that. Okay, 46. Let me find that. Okay, gratitude and appreciation. Recognize the good qualities in others and openly share your gratitude with them. Write notes of thanks to those who have helped you. If someone deserves acknowledgement, take the time to let a superior or colleague know so they receive the recognition they deserve. Nature is continually sharing its beauty for us to appreciate. Beholding a rainbow is a gift. 
and when we encounter a rainbow's beauty, it is the perfect time to be grateful for all the gifts in our lives. It is important to generate the positive flow of thankfulness that can bring joy into someone else's life. By doing so, you will not only decrease your stress, you will also generate the feeling of goodwill and love in your life. Yeah, that's a great message. I believe in that. Okay, last but not least, I'm picking one card from Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. Okay, now what's the message for Taurus for November 2018? What's the message for Taurus for November 2018, Taurus? What's the message for Taurus for November 2018? I'm going to give it one more shuffle and then fan these out. What's the message for Taurus for November 2018, Taurus? Okay. Okay, let's see what this one is. This is Angel Chantal. New romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Hey, that's a great card to end with. Okay, it's Angel Chantal. New romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Great message to end on, Taurus. Okay, I hope you're happy with your reading for November. And uh, be sure and check your rising and moon signs as they come available. Also, feel free to leave your comments. I welcome your comments. Be sure and subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when new videos are posted. If you have already subscribed, I thank you for your subscriptions. And if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. So have a great November, Taurus, and thank you for watching my video.